Hey guys, let's talk about sin. Um, I wrote this down on my computer so we can burn through it real fast and it'll be clear. So here's what I've been learning about sin that's really changing my life. That's why I asked the scaling question to you guys on Facebook about is your thinking about sin actually helping you to not sin? I think that's a fair question. So here's what I think. I think the primary reason that I sin is because I want to control pain. That's it. Sin always says if you do what it says, you will feel less pain, which is always a lie. When we experience one of the three primary negative emotions, sadness, fear, shame, that is when we have an opportunity to either tune into the deep spiritual life and engage with our reality slash pain and find God, or you could say, nope, I'm out of here and go es try and escape reality with some kind of fantasy situation. So three fantasy examples um, that all have to do with escaping the pain in fear, sadness, or shame. So fantasy number one, I can get drunk and it will be fine. That's a fantasy, reality. Um, you know you're abusing alcohol if you're drunk. Uh, it means your body can't process all the toxins that you're gulping down, so your liver starts to destroy itself and your brain starts to rot. And if you don't believe me that your brain literally rots um, when you get drunk, you need to go do some research. Number two, um, this woman on the web says that she wants me. Oh, yeah, fantasy. No. No. Reality, she wants a paycheck, or she wants affirmation or excitement that comes from working in the porn industry. Or, if you're talking with someone on one of those online hookup sites where you can go have an affair, that person, guy or girl, doesn't want you. They want to use you to escape from the pain in their life. How romantic. No. Relationships are meant to bring us into life and help us deal with our pain not just run away from it and use each other and end up hurting a bunch of people in the process. Fantasy. Um, so here's one from my life. Oh, you know, I have a reading report that I need to turn in, but it's not that big a deal. I mean, I, it's my education. I'm, I'm paying for it. I still have the book if I need it later. So maybe I'll say I read 80% when I did not read anywhere close to 80%. Um, not that big a deal. That's a fantasy. Reality check. That is exactly why God killed Ananias and Sapphira. Smoked him. Dead. Zap. Boom. Because they were trying to um, gain status because they were experiencing, I think, the pain of fear and embarrassment, which is sad and afraid because um, they wanted to fit in and they wanted to give a big thing but they also didn't want to give a big thing and go read this, st this story it'll make sense so yeah basically lying about um, your reading reports or me lying about my reading reports is the exact same thing as Ananias and Sapphira and I deserve to get zapped that's really terrifying God is being merciful um and I'm in the process of reconciling that with my professors uh, this week. I'm really excited about that um, because I'm learning to live in reality. And that's where God is. He's in reality. He's not in my fantasy. I am the God of my fantasy. You're not going to find God in your fantasy. Um, that's why lying and drinking and porn and Netflix and FaceTime, um, FaceTime, <laughs> Facebook, um, Instagram, like, I really, I really like all the online stuff. However, you can use, it's a tool, you can use it to escape from reality, or you can engage with people in reality through social media. Social media is not the problem. I'm the problem. If I use social media to hide and build my own little kingdom and my own little reality of Instagram filters, that's a form of sin. But if I'm using those exact same things 
to bless people, to engage with people, to reach out, that's living in reality. So, you tracking with me? I hope so. I hope I'm tracking with you too. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this is why I think God hates sin so much. Because uh, it pulls us away from reality. That's where God is. He's in reality. Um, and I've been living in fantasy for a really long time and not just porn. Um, however, because next this Thursday will be six months free of porn. Um, and I've been able to do that because I've been learning to change how I respond to pain. Um, that's why I'm six months clean. It's not about sex. It's not about porn. It's about pain. Emotional pain. It's where sin comes from, in my opinion. Um, so basically, now that I'm sober from that, I'm starting to realize that I have a bunch of other ways that I live in fantasy that are way more subtle um, and insidious than porn, but just as effective at pulling me away um, from reality and God. Um, like the lying thing. That's a fantasy. So I think we sin because we think that our ideas of controlling pain are better options than God's options. So either we don't trust that God really loves us, or uh, maybe you just have no idea how to connect with him even if you really do think that he does love you. Or maybe you think you know what God's options are. Prayer, fasting, church, worship, Bible reading, serving, tithing. And you're doing all that stuff, but it's not changing your life. There's a problem. And you have a choice. You can continue to do those things, or um, you could tune into the second video that I'm going to make here in a little bit that will tell you my story of how just doing and being a part of those things in the church and small groups, and prayer, and Bible reading didn't work for me. And, yeah, stay tuned if you're interested. Peace.